So here we are, 2023 Iris Festival, Greenville, Tennessee, specifically the Sundown on Depot Car Show. Uh, it's going to be an awesome time. There's lots of cars coming in. The weather is a little bit of a concern. People are a little bit concerned about, uh, you know, maybe rain coming in. And I get it. You know, somebody puts a, a lot of money in a, in a build. You don't want to take a chance on getting it torn up or damaged in, in, a, in a rainstorm or something like that. But we're really excited about what we're going to see here today. Already some good cars coming in. And uh, I, I hope you get to share or, or see some of those that we get the chance to share with. So um, check out this video and I hope it goes well. So this car here is a 1936 Willys and it belongs to Mike Gulp Bowles. Uh, what's pretty cool about this car um, is this car has probably been together for 20 years and is pretty, pretty well known around these parts. It's an absolutely beautiful car. Uh, the car probably has 60,000 plus miles on it. So that's one thing that's really cool about this car is it's a beautiful car, uh, but it also uh, is a car that's used as it is intended to be used. It's driven uh, all kinds of shows across the country. Uh, good people that own it, and it's just an absolute beautiful car. So the 1940 Ford uh, is probably one of the most sought after and one of the more famous uh, automobiles in automobile history, really in hot rodding history. It has a history tied to uh, NASCAR. A lot of the early moonshine runners in the south, uh, this was their car of choice. And a lot of those drivers uh, went into uh, NASCAR and became, um, you know, famous drivers. Uh, this particular 1940 uh, Ford belongs to Paul Evans. Uh, it's an absolute beautiful car, beautiful black, deep black paint, uh, small block Chevrolet, and uh, it's just a, a wonderful example of a street rod 40 Ford, one of the more popular cars to street rod uh, in today's hobby. So another really famous car uh, in the hot rod world is the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. This is a beautiful example of that. Uh, I didn't catch this lady's name, but I noticed a young lady driving it in. It's a four-speed car and she was handling it really well. So that was impressive. Beautiful car, big block, deep black paint, uh, houndstooth interior, a uh, very good example of the 1969 Camaro. So uh, beautiful car here at Sundown on Depot. So this beautiful custom belongs to Scott Wilkinson of Morristown. It's a 54 Victoria, um, done up kind of in a 1950s, early 60s custom uh, tile style uh, build. Uh, I love any kind of orange or tangerine paint, so I gravitate to those, and this is a, this is a beautiful example. Um, 351 Windsor, all Ford powered for a Ford car, a lot of people like that. Um, detailed out, beautiful tuck and roll wide interior, a beautiful example of a Ford car here at the uh, Sundown on Depot. So the theme kind of of our presentation today uh, in this video is iconic American cars. And you don't get much more icon iconic than the 57 Chevrolet Bel Air. This is a beautiful example here, beautiful red, small block Chevrolet, a traveling car, beautiful interior. Uh, just as American as American pie, uh, I guess apple pie. Uh, but um, beautiful car here, check it out on this video. Chevrolet pickups have always been hot and they are still hot. And there are some beautiful examples here uh, at Sundown on Depot in Greenville. A lot of uh, that, you know, C10 era, uh, beautiful trucks, well done. Some are very exquisitely done. We're going to give you a little sampling of some of those, but um, if, if you like that sort of build, uh, Sundown on Depot is the place you ought to come. I hope you've enjoyed Sundown on Depot 2023. It's been a good time. There have been some great cars shown uh, that have shown up, um, and I hope you enjoy our video. If you don't care and you get the chance, um, like and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'd surely appreciate it. And you know, a little bit of a shout out. We're going to do it again next year. This is an annual show, so put it on your calendar. Check out the Facebook link below, and uh, we can tell you everything that you need to know about the upcoming event. We'll see you next time.